Oh, you love to see the grappler and the grappler or the pseudo grappler <laughs> and oh, what did Latalis call Thunder? The flying bastard with a command grab. <laughs> My favorite archetype. Yeah. Roman names Glacius, Rom, Agnos, Arya, and Fulgor as being the five hardest matchups for uh, Wolf. But I think outside of Rom, four of those are the hardest matchups for a lot of characters. I mean, uh, uh, maybe just players, though. Maybe. We're getting into this, though. Thunder versus Isako. This is a hype match. I mean, Thunder is always just hype, I feel like. We don't see enough of him on streams lately. Once Hologram went away to his home planet. Once Hologram had to, like, continue doing his job instead of just playing KI. The worst of fate. Realities of life. Now, I really like what Eox Jr. is doing here. Because, no, he uh... Board heavy punch definitely is not a tick throw thing, but he's making it look like one. Oh, for sure. Uh, Eons has really strong offense. Whenever I beat him last week, it was mostly off of he didn't have good defense. Like, I was catching him a lot on, like, frame traps and stuff like that. That was a naked counter breaker read, and it worked out. God, the overheads. You know, 19 frames might be too fast for an overhead. Uh, no, I don't agree with that. <laughs> no, definitely not. Oh, just throw the throw. Just throw straight through his command grab. As God intended. I love grappler on grappler violence. That was also an excellent counter breaker read. Absolutely robbed. Robbery is a, you know, I'm a fan of it, honestly. Yeah. Also, I really like this outfit for Hisako. The the flowery uh, pink. Oh yeah. Curly. Uh, nature, nature spirit. I think it's called. It it's nice. Yeah. It, uh, she got put into the ground, though. Yeah, that was rough. Thunder's out here performing an exorcism. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I... Maybe I should show this to my friend, because my friend likes to play Thunder, and she does not... She doesn't really know what Thunder is supposed to do against Hisako. But it looks like uh, Eos Jr. has it all figured out. Oh yeah, this seems like, just from that first match, this looks like a good uh, set to show somebody. I, know, I need to take a uh, note on um, dra uh, DBI's uh, defensive habits, because maybe that's playing into it as well. Hmm. Is mere existence too much? Roman becoming the favorite viewer of the night with a second gift sub. Thank you so much, Roman. Welcome to the Thunder Fan Club, Juno. That is one of the things about being given that gift sub. <laughs> Going for the damage ender rather than a battery or yeah, yeah. All right, I, you know what? I can see it. That this is working out. That was not a tick throw. Is this where the tables turn? Oh, just back catch out of there. Going for the reset. Not quite catching it, because all the sky busted. And it chipped out by Triple Axe. I'm sorry, you have to hold on to that Juno for a moment. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, lockout. This is going to be big damage. Oh, we have. We have now entered the pain train. In lockdown mode. I would say Eots likes to wake up. Oh, he blocked, though. Ooh. Just did not have the wrath to vengeance cancel. Uh-oh. Going for the regular grab. Yeah, but uh, grab beats God. Grab. 
Vengeance just, or influence just punching through Call of the Earth is really something every time I see it. It's not, uh, I don't think Call of the Earth is throw invincible, or at least maybe it has fewer really? throw in both frames than, uh. It might just have fewer throw in both frames than, uh, influence does. Or possibly because of. Oh, that's it's gross. Like, it's starting up, uh, second. Crouching low punch off Thunder is real good at making sure that you will hold block long enough for him to just grab you. Yeah, he's got some really good tech throws, uh, and it uh, upsets me. <laughs> yeah, Call of the Earth is definitely throw and vuln. I think it's all the way up to the active frames, but I don't know how long Influence is active I, I, for. I'm going to say more than likely Influence's uh, throw and vuln itself is like beating out uh, it, it, it lasting longer because influence is starting second uh, each time it happens. Yeah, that would make sense. It was always in reaction on like a an instinct uh, pop or something. Yeah, yeah. Getting the instinct pop on wake up seems to be doing pretty well in this matchup. Like Juno said. Given that Yotes Jr. is liking to command grab the wake up. But also it's working often enough that he's still up 2-0. Yeah, no, definitely this is not, like, this is not just gimmicks, like, if you want to call it gimmicks, like, they're working. Dragon Blade is not uh, catching on. No, there, there's nothing gimmicky about it. It's just, it's so hard to get away from Thunder once he gets his offense yeah, going, well, regardless of, of if you're Hisako or not. Part of it is, like, wow, that was clean. Thunder just has, like, the most intimidating walk forward. It makes you want to not press anything. He's like, look at this. Ooh. Look at this big man. I don't know what happened with that you. drop. Hmm. We all don't know what's happening. Oh no, she was aerial for that. That's the one case where the crow dash is just too fast for the player to find it useful. DPI doing way better. Still a slight disadvantage in the health department. You go have to approach though. You can't really do anything from the air though. Oh my god, the DP threw it. Has waited out the call. That, oh, oh, it's so dangerous to press the vengeance on wake up. Okay, got that. Needies. Need that wrath back. Oh yeah. Okay. Brain one hitboxes when. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, I hate these staggers. They're so good. Oh, oh, oh. Didn't react to the lockout. Oh my god. Just not fast enough. Somebody buff Shadow on Rioza. <laughs> yes, it needs buffs. Oh my god, again the parry on the Samamish. Oh. That almost made. Oh no. That's it. DBI tried to overextend there, or did overextend there. No, it didn't try. There was no trying there. It happened. Could, could Dragon Blade have Vengeance canceled out of that? They, they had the Wrath Meter. Should have been able to then. Probably just didn't think about it. There's a lot of mental, st especially with the grapplers. Like, their main thing is just overloading your mental stack. So. That was damn good play from both players, though. Yeah, it was a fun set, even though the scoreboard, like, it didn't say it was close, but that, it was super fun, though. Each match, pretty damn close. Oh, yeah. Especially that last one. I think that if uh, Junior had not broken that last combo when he did, if he had locked out, that would have been it. Ooh. Oh, Roman's here. Stream favorite has shown up. To show us how the animal goes. Best viewer. PV9 Arbiter GE416. <laughs> you know, it really just rolls off the tongue. I, I'm upset that Microsoft hasn't gone out of their way just to give Roman the name Roman as his tag. I mean, I feel like he just doesn't want to fix it or something. It does cost money to fix it. 